Well, here we are up on Dartmoor, similar area to last time. Up at uh, Harford. And in fact, you may not be able to see them, I'm not quite sure, but directly over there are some black dots. That's those cows I was uh, playing with last time. So, whoop, falling over my own feet. Talking about feet. Given my fame and now fortune from all the MLD sales, the Cayman Islands are doing brilliantly. The Cayman Islands, they're lower than they were six weeks ago. Uh, they've dropped, not in value, but they're sinking under the sea. All that money that keeps getting shipped out there for all those sales I keep doing for MLD. So maybe we better find a different place for offshore banking. Otherwise, otherwise the Cayman Islands won't exist anymore. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, in the middle of that Dartmoor. Well, actually not quite in the middle of Dartmoor. I'm actually on the edge of Dartmoor. Uh, so you've got fields and things behind and fields and things, well, that way. And Lassie is eating the grass, as usual. But yes, given my uh, fame and the millions, I mean, yeah, barely 3,000 subscribers, thank you everyone and all. Obviously when I come out here I should be um, sensible, uh, responsible, and whatever else. So, of course, when you come out to a place like this, you should wear, you know, well, basically hobnail boots or something like that. What you should not be wearing is sandals. But if sandals are good enough for Chris Tangs and in the wilds, they're good enough for me too. And I know this area and I know that sandals are perfectly fine out here, as long as you're careful, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I decided to give my sandals a go again this year. So, Harford is somewhere over that way, so I've just walked up here. Then I'm going to walk over to that, uh, that hill over there. I can't tell you what it's called, but that hill. And then, uh, well, we'll probably end up camping where I camped last time, in all honesty. But that's okay, we're, we're going that way now. Okay, well, we're up on this rocky thing. It looks like a tour, and I suppose in all intents and porpoise or porpoises purposes, it is a tour. Though I don't think in the map it's actually called a tour. I think it's called something else, gains something or other. Anyway, it's a fairly short walk again today. It's just an afternoon stroll. And we're going to follow this ridge around here. That was very artistic. I'll do that again. Finger there, and we're going to follow that ridge around there. And then camp should be just the other side of that hill over yonder. So that's the plan. Probably should report on foot. Foot was improving, but I don't know if you remember, I did a walk in the early spring and I think I went a little bit too far on two lighter weight shoes. So normally lightweight shoes are perfect for me. And normally I like lightweight shoes a lot. But I suspect that when I did that walk, whenever it was, I don't know if it was March time, uh, somewhere around there. By the time I got to Little Neeset camping area, my foot was quite painful. So I think, I have a horrible feeling, I sort of messed the foot up on that walk a bit. And ever since then, it's actually been a bit worse than it was before that. And that is a bit annoying, because up until that point, it was actually getting to the point of where I knew it was there, but it was, you know, 
I only knew that it was there. It, it didn't really hurt. I could wake up in the morning and didn't really feel it. But ever since then, it's not like it was at the beginning. It's not as bad as that. But I wake up in the morning and I can feel it now, which is a bit of a nuisance. And I'm a very, very bad boy. I should do stretches and exercise and pro kit and prod it and massage it and do all that sort of stuff. But I didn't do any of that last year and it slowly started to improve. And I still haven't really done anything. So I'm guessing in time it will, imp it will improve. But there you go, that's an update on the foot. So that's why these walks are fairly short these days. But anyway, so we're heading over in that direction over there. At least the foot isn't stopping me getting out. So at least I can get out, walk, camp, act the goat, have fun, and bring a few smiles. Catch you somewhere in that direction. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, miracles may never cease. Lassie is going over to the water. That isn't the miracle. Lassie, come on. I just want to keep her away from the water for the moment because that's my water source and I don't want you playing in it. No, not yet, not until I've got some more water. Yes, lo and behold, a brand new, spanking new, never before seen campsite, camping spot. It's on Dartmoor. It's actually uh, quite close to Red Brook. It's the next brook over this side, not the other side. I've never been this side before. And I was heading over to Red Brook thinking, well, I know where I can camp, I'll camp there. And I just came across this brook, saw all this rough grass here and thought, let's just have a little wander down, see what we see, and find this this little area here. I'm not sure you'd get, you probably would get a tent in there to be honest, but as I say, that's one advantage with a tarp. You can really pitch it wherever you want within reason, as long as you've got you know a little flat area to lie down in, and you can pitch the tarp over it. You probably would also get the trail star in there as well, to be honest. But obviously it would be, be jiggling it a little bit more. And you'd probably get a tent in there as well, but yeah, it just shows the pluses of a tap. I've pitched it quite high. Hopefully, you know, it's, it's high enough I can lift my head up. And not so high that uh, all the elephants and wildebeest and uh, giraffes and things like that can majestically walk through. And I've just got some water on, which is just coming up to the boil for a cup of soup. So I'm gonna eat. Uh, I brought this meal, uh, two reasons. One, well, I had it, so it needs eating. And I didn't have any pasta. So um, note to self, get more pasta. Okay, well, watching a film. Terminator Genesis. Um, yeah, it's a bit different to um, play school or something like that. Lassie has decided that she likes to lick pretty much everything in sight. I'm not quite sure the what or why that is. I've made up the uh, beef stroganoff with rice meal. I'm not quite sure what that's going to taste like. And I have a cup of tea. I've had a cup of soups, and that's the uh, tap. The time is about quarter past six. It's a beautiful evening. I don't think it'll get dark until about 8.39, maybe near nine. So we've certainly got another two and a half hours left. Whether I can stay out two and a half hours, we'll, we will see. I made one, I'll own up to it, I made one error and I have never done this before and I normally bring a windshirt with me, like a very very lightweight jacket, very lightweight jacket and I normally bring a waterproof with me, 
got today. I put them out, I packed everything, and I left my windshield and the waterproof behind. So I'm rather pleased that it's not raining or that it didn't rain. I've got my down jacket, so I've got a down jacket, you know, that I can wear for night time. Luckily, kind of luckily, although it's a bit too bulky, I'd never bring a jacket like this hiking, personally. A lot of people like soft shell jackets. Uh, luckily, I had my Rab soft shell jacket in the car. So I just put that in, luckily, and luckily again, there was just about enough room in the pack to put it in. Um, would I have carried on walking? Yeah, I, I, I would still have come out even if I hadn't have had it, because I had the down jacket. The forecast for today was dry. So uh, I was never in any particular danger, and I've got the shelter for night. But in winter, <laughs> you don't want to be leaving your, your coats behind. So yeah, that was a bit of a, a bit of a silly one that. I don't think we're doing that again. But anyway, all as well as it ends well. I say, other than that, I've got my down jacket, and I say, luckily, I had that in the car. Maybe that's the uh, whatever it is of the day. Always have a spare jacket in your car. I really, really don't know what it is they do with this food. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be edible, but it, it's supposed to be a meal, but it's just a, a soup, and I put maybe. 75% of the liquid in that they suggest. I definitely, definitely, definitely do not recommend expedition foods. I definitely recommend a small pasta or something like that. Very, very poor. That's my review over with. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's 8.40. I've been awake a couple of hours, had breakfast and a tea. I started packing up. I didn't do much filming last night, but I set up my kitchen on this little mound here and then uh, a little bit later on I use this rock up here <clears throat> we'll call that Tony's rock and I think Lassie has found the nearest stream and I've just found <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can see it or not. A caterpillar. Just there. Caterpillar in the middle of Dartmoor. Well, on the edge of Dartmoor. This isn't exactly the middle of it. So, I shall carry on packing away. I'll try to say a thank you for watching and a goodbye later, but I will forget later on. So on the off chance that I do forget or I don't get round to it, then you know thanks for watching. And uh, let's, go, let's go see where Lassie is. <coughs> ah, there she is. Right in the water. Yeah, I better start heading. Oh, I better start heading back as well because it's just starting to blow up, and I don't exactly have the right clothing now because I forgot. So anyway, I'll get going. You know, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you all again soon. Bye.